In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sinfulness before God and ask for His pardon and mercy to prepare ourselves for this Eucharistic celebration. Lord Jesus, you came to reconcile us to the Father and to one another. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you healed the wounds of sin and division. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you intercede for us with your Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Show gracious favor, O Lord, we pray, to the works of penance we have begun, that we may have strength to accomplish with sincerity the bodily observances we undertake. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord God, cry out full-throated, and unsparingly lift up your voice like a trumpet blast tell my people their wickedness and the house of Jacob their sins they seek me day after day and desire to know my ways like a nation that has done what is just and not abandon the law of their God. They ask me to declare what is due them, please to gain access to God. Why do we fast and you do not see it? Afflict ourselves and you take no note of it. Law, on your first past day, you carry out your own pursuits and drive all your laborers. Yes, your fast ends in quarreling and fighting, striking with wicked claw. Would that today you might fast so as to make your voice heard on high? Is this the manner of 
fasting, I wish, of keeping a day of penance, that a man bow his head like reed and lie in sackcloth and ashes. Do you call this a fast, a day acceptable to the Lord? This, brother, is the fasting that I wish, releasing those bound unjustly, untying the tongues of the yoke, setting free the oppressed, breaking every yoke, sharing your bread with the hungry, sheltering the oppressed and the homeless, clothing the naked when you see them, and not turning your back on your own. Then your light shall break forth like the dawn, and your wound shall quickly be healed. Your vindication shall go before you, and the glory of the Lord shall be your rear guard. Then you shall call, and the Lord will answer. You shall cry for help, and he will say, Here I am. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A heart contrite and humbled, O God, you will not spurn. A heart contrite and humbled, O God, you will not spurn. Have mercy on me, O God, in your goodness. In the greatness of your compassion, wipe out my offense. Totally wash me from my guilt and of my sin cleansed me. A heart contrite and humble, O God, you will not spurn. For I acknowledge my offense, and my sin is before me always. Against you only have I sinned and done what is evil in your sight. A heart contrite and humbled, O God, you will not spurn. For you are not pleased with sacrifices. Should I offer a burnt offering, you would not accept it. My sacrifice, O God, is a contrite spirit, a heart contrite and humbled, O God, you will not spurn. A heart contrite and humbled, O God, you will not spurn. Please stand. Praise to be you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Seek good and not evil, so that you may live. And the Lord will be with you. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. The disciples of John approached Jesus and said, Why do we and the Pharisees fast much, but your disciples do not fast? Jesus answered them, can the wedding guests mourn as long as the bridegroom is with them? The days will come when the bridegroom is taken away from them, and then 
they will fast. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good Jesus. morning, my dear brothers and sisters. One of the pillars of Lent is fasting. The others, the others are prayer and almsgiving. Another word for fasting is dieting. And how many times have your doctors asked you, please go on diet? Di ba? Pag bumibisita tayo at nagpapatingin sa doktor at makita ang ating timbang, sasabihin, nako, mag-diet ka. Kaya isang kaibigan ko, sabi niya, nako, hindi na ako nagpapatingin sa doktor. No? But there is a transforming power in fasting. When you exercise dieting, you lose weight. And when you lose weight, your health improves. Bumababa ang cholesterol, nagiging normal ang sugar, nababawasan ng mga stress, and so on and so forth. Kaya nga, misan sasabihin sa atin, Uy, ang ganda-ganda na ng katawan mo. No? At sasabihin natin, eh kasi nagda-diet ako. There is a transforming power in fasting. But the Lord in the first reading seems to be unhappy with fasting. Sabi ng ni Propeta Isaiah, sabi ng Panginoon, the people ask me, why do we fast and you do not see it? Afflict ourselves and you take no note of it. Lord naman, nagpa-fasting kami eh. Bakit parang hindi mo pinapansin? At sinabihan sila ni Jesus, ng, ng Panginoon sa unang pagbasa kasi hindi yan ang fasting na ikinalulugod ko. Kasi Mga minamahal kong kapatid, aminin natin, when we go on, go on diet, mostly, the benefit is on us. Di ba? Yung kalusugan natin ang nag-improve, ang cholesterol natin ang nagno-normal, ang sugar natin ang umaayos, tayo ang nagbe-benefit ng ating pagda-diet. Pero hindi po dapat ganun lang. Ang pag-aayuno ay dapat na matungo sa pag-aayuda. Ang pag-aayuno ay dapat na matungo sa pag-aayuda. In other words, whatever whatever discipline, no, the fruits of your discipline, whatever they are, must be for others. Kaya nga, halimbawa, ang simpleng-simpleng halimbawa ko dyan ay, eh, kung hindi ka, ngayon, ngayong Lent, ano ang, gust, ano ang binalak ninyong hindi kainin? Yung iba, chocolate. Yung iba, hindi mo na ako iinom ng soft drinks. Titiisin ko kahit na gusto-gusto ko. Yung iba, magsisikap na hindi na manigarilyo. But what happens to the savings? Nakatipid ka kasi hindi ka kumakain ng burger. Nakatipid ka kasi hindi ka na kumakain ng chocolate. Nakatipid ka kasi hindi ka na bumibili ng Coke o Pepsi. Nakatipid ka kasi hindi ka na naninigarilyo o binawasan mo ang paninigarilyo. Ngayon, saan napunta yung itinipid mo? Ah, para makabili ako ng bagong cellphone. Ayun, nakatipid. Pero tungo pa rin sa sarili. Ngayon, Pinaaalalahanan tayo ng unang pagbasa ang anumang pag-aayuno natin, pagsasakripisyo natin, ay dapat pakinabangan din ng kapwa natin. We fast so that the hungry may feast. Otherwise, you may go on diet, you may go on fasting, but the Lord will not be too happy for it because still 
it is you, you, and you. It is me, me, and me. Huwag natin kalimutan, ang pag-aayuno ay dapat na matungo sa pag-aayuda. Please stand. By fasting, we give God space in our lives. Let us ask the Lord to strengthen us in self-denial, that we may set our minds and hearts firmly on Him. To every petition, our response would be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That as followers of Christ, we may conform to the precepts of our Heavenly Father, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That God's people may persevere in their Lenten sacrifices. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That all who deny themselves for the Lord's sake may find happiness with Him. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear, Lord, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the sick and the dying and those who are faced with life's sorrow may be filled with God's grace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, prayer. our prayer. That our deceased relatives and friends may freely share in the light of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. In silence, let us pray for the intentions offered in this Mass. Heavenly Father, grant us the strength to devote ourselves to a life in the Spirit that we may rise now above our weaknesses and share fully in the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through goodness we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. We offer, O Lord, the sacrifice of our Lenten observance, praying that it may make our intentions acceptable to you, and add to our powers of self-restraint through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, 
Almighty and Eternal God. For through bodily fasting, you restrain our faults, raise up our minds, and bestow both virtue and its rewards through Christ our Lord. Through him, the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exultation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please still. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jewful, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with, blessed, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we pray, Our Father, who art, who art in, in heaven. heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, 
and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Be still. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should receive under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Please stand. Let us pray. We pray, Almighty God, that through partaking of this mystery, we may be cleansed of all our misdeeds and so be suited for the remedies of your compassion through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Eucharist has been offered. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Oh, Lord, see no more.